So first of all, thank you guys so much for this story. I know this was a passion project of yours for a very long time, and I know it's personal for both of you. Um, so when this was a project that started 10 years ago for you or longer? 2003. <sighs> <laughs> and, and it went through many stages, right? Many stages. The first two years I worked with the producer, Robert Neumeyer, and it was at Paramount, and then he, he tragically passed away, and, uh, and then it was put into Turnaround, and I was able to get it out of Turnaround after five years through a Writers Guild reacquisition rule. And then uh, Imagine was starting this writers program. Uh, Ron Howard wanted to make a writers room for movies that was used TV writing principles, uh, not as like a group think, like a think tank. And I'd worked in TV writers rooms. So I went there and I said, what if I redevelop the script? And they were like, great. So we worked on it for a year and we had financing from another company and that fell out. And then um, I had an 18 month free option. So I literally for the next six months went around trying to find someone else who would buy the yeah. movie. And the final person was Molly Smith and it turned out she had a, a brother who's a lost boy her, in her family. And on the, the final of the 18 months, the final day, late in the afternoon, we got the check in at Paramount before the clock. Because it would have been over. They would have taken it back, and it would have yeah. been over, and we got it out. So we, I get the goosebumps. So it was like, it was like, <laughs> meant, you know, it was so intense. It meant to yeah, be, right? it, it really, <laughs> it, so many things. Though. So many things said no, and then everything kind of lined up. Mm -hmm. Arnold, this is really personal for you. Yeah. So one, was it really hard to revisit this? And was it exciting now that you've seen the finishing product? Yeah, well, for me, I wasn't really, I wasn't revisiting it. For me, it was a, it was a personal journey. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, because my, my, I took it very personal, uh, emotionally, because my father was from South Sudan, right. and my mother is Ugandan, but my father passed away when I was very young. Uh, and then we fled to, to the UK, um, and that's where we've been ever since. But I, I you know, my connection was I just want to make my father proud with, mm. with, with my performance and I got to learn about my people and my culture and, and I got to play a really, really amazing character in an amazing story, you know, and, and, and I, while doing so I also got to spread, it, spread the history and, and spread awareness of what's happening because, you know, at the end of the day this is still a situation that's happening till this day in South Sudan so as long as people go out and watch this and research then hopefully we can make a change. And, yeah, I mean, and you knew the stories because of your family, but now you're sharing those stories so that people like me who didn't know yeah. now want to do something. Exactly. And you, God, on screen, I just loved to watch you because you told the story of the girls. Mm -hmm. You single-handedly were able to kind of let everyone know that these girls are there too. Mm -hmm. And the scenes were amazing. I mean, even the little girl scenes, it was just so much fun to watch your character develop through. So what did you take away from your character? Um, well, I took away the fact that she was a child that matured very fast and right away. And so I, since I knew a lot of women who had gone through the same situation that she did, and I felt that it was my responsibility to show that voice because in Sudan, not a lot of women have a voice. It's like no, no one ever hears about the lost girls or anything. And so for me, I felt that um, it, it was special to me, and I was honored to get to tell the story of these women. And now. I feel like it's, it's shedding light to a situation that was like in the dark before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's wonderful moments of passion and heart and family that I think are so important, um, but there's also some really serious issues. So when people go in to see this film, but what do you want? It's also funny. Them? It's so much, there's wonderful lighthearted moments. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Corey and I were just laughing about the car scene. You know, there were so <laughs> many of these great moments that are just like, you can't help but laugh. And then we think about how we take them for granted. So what do you want people to take away from it? Uh, that it's possible to connect <clears throat> people in a, in a really powerful, life-changing way that you never thought possible. I think that's, that's more of, and that this situation in South Sudan is still going on and that we can all help. I mean, we've created a fund, the Good Life Fund, .org, and we're going to be raising money and have already started to raise money for humanitarian aid and educational purposes in the Kakuma refugee camp. So we, we want to keep this forward. We want to allow this film to really open people's eyes, but we also want to move things forward there with the film as well. Hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, 
contests and prize giveaways.